Well, good morning, good morning. We are in the kill room. We are about to unload last night's firing. Um, I have already opened my kill because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to cry on camera before I started unloading. Um, what had happened was, what had happened was, I um, <clears throat> started glazing yesterday, and it's been a while since I went through my ash glazes. So, in my book, where I have done all of my tests, which is like 38 tests at this point, and I've mixed and matched and changed around as, as um, I tested and found something that I wanted to change. So, you know, there's been several changes over the way, and there's also been a lot of different ash that I have used over the, over the time that I've tested. And so there's a lot of differences in multiple things. And uh, also, some of them I have used mason stains in to bring out some color because obviously ash glaze is just a natural beige brown, you know, dark brown, things like that. Because it's natural. That's, that's what you're going to get from it, right? Um, so, what I did was, as I went through my uh, little tester cups where I mixed, you know, just small cups, because I do it in small batches to see if I like it, and then if I do, then I can mix a bigger batch. Um, I actually started when I got into reusing them because the ones that didn't work then obviously I would dump that and then reuse that cup. So I had them numbered and when I started uh, reusing them I forgot how I lined up the numbers. So when I started glazing um, I forgot. <laughs> And I didn't know what I glazed what. So I was hoping that I had the right colors with the right numbers and that everything would turn out well. Well, so far it looks okay. So we'll see what happens when we get further in. All I've done was open the top and, and then look down in so that I could see the initial um, colors and how they turned out. So they look pretty good so far. So come on in and let's go see what this is going to look like. All right. So I'm going to save the biggest ones for last because I love them. They're funky vases and um, they're going to be interesting. So here's some of the first ones. And I did these also so that they would be ready for a couple of markets and an open studio that I'm having this Saturday. So that's it. It is glazed on the inside. Now this is an ash glaze that I mixed. It does have mason stain in there. So it does have a little colorant in there. And that one turns out to be kind of, um, it's like kind of a teal green, I guess you would say. So this one also has some ash glaze on it. It was obviously, oh, I took that back. I was gonna say it was thin. I put it on thin, but I did not. I remember this specifically and I put it on thick and it did run. Um, but I think because I used um, the oxide wash over the outside that maybe that changed some of my coloration. So that's another experiment to, to check out and see how that's going to work together. Uh, but this is just a simple little pouring pitcher handheld, right? And, um, and it is obviously glazed on the inside as well. All right. I did a couple of those when I was playing around. I had some scraps. Love this. Isn't that beautiful? I love the distressed look of, of this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course it's glazed on the inside. And even though this looks like it has no glaze on it here, it actually does. It's just thin, so the color kind of fades out. I absolutely adore this one. And again, it's just a pouring pitcher. Handheld. This is a tester. I'm um, working on doing some little bowls for like uh, small pet dishes. So that's what this one is for. And all of these are the same color profiles. Let me put my gloves over here because I may need them when I go on further in. And this is one that I had and I used it for filler space. This is a, a little mini bunt pan. And it is oven safe. I used to make a lot of these, or I did make a, several of these in the past, and I haven't made them for a while. Um, they take a little time to do, not too much, but they do take a little time to do to get right. 
So that's that. I will be making a lot more of those. And this is part of something else, but I'll show you that in a minute. One shelf out. Oh, all of these in the bottom, most of this is going to be crosses that I started doing. So, first of all, we'll have this. This is a cute version of a French butter dish. This is what I'm, this is going to be my version of a French butter dish. There is some things that I want to change with this, some things that I would like to add. Maybe have a little uh, knobby knobby or something like that on top. Um, whatever. I don't know. But I do want to change this up a little bit. I like it, but I want to change it up a little bit. Glazed on the inside, glazed on the inside. For those of you that don't know what a French butter dish is, you would put your softened butter in here, pack it in real good, put water in this bottom dish, and set that inside like that uh, so that the water creates a seal so that no bacteria can get to your butter. So you always have soft butter on your countertop. So that's what that is. I like that. I'm going to test. This is an ash glaze, and I'm going to be testing this one um, in my kitchen so that I can um, put butter in there and see how this ash glaze reacts with the butter long term. So this one is, even though it's, um, it's perfectly sellable, I am keeping it for myself so that I can test the ash glaze because that's one thing that I don't know how these things are going to react. Like, you know, in the future when I do maybe dishes with it or something like that, um, that were acidic food or something like that may sit on there. I don't know how that's going to react, so I want to test that. So here's the cross, start of the crosses. Aren't those gorgeous? I think these are some of the most beautiful crosses I have made. I absolutely am in love with the style, the designs, and the colors of all of these. And we'll see what that looks like further down. Let's see next shelf. And this is actually kind of a light load. Because I didn't have a whole lot. But sometimes these smaller things like this take up more room. Especially the flat pieces. Because you have to fire them flat. You can't, you can't stack them with a the glaze. Turn that on. And so, you have to, each individual one has to be on its own. Another one. I love this color. It's very matte. It was probably supposed to be um, more glossy, but it didn't work out that way for some reason. These are going to be new additions, and these are going to have different embellishments on them, but I don't have that on these. Uh, I will have that. These are some little egg separators, so I'm going to be testing that too. Both of these are ash glaze, and I think they are the cutest things ever. I actually created a template for future ones where that I can um, imprint a little face on there, so I can put a little face up top, kind of like it's going, bleh, you know? So that's going to be cute on the top of these. I uh, don't have those done yet. Uh, I think I may be working on some of those today. Um, hopefully I'll be able to have some ready for my December market in Crystal Springs, but we'll see, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Of course, just when I don't need it, all the rain comes in in our area. It's been dry here for what seems like a year, but now all of a sudden we have rain and humidity everywhere. All right. We're almost to the end. And I'll tell you, these shelves are my hero. They are so light. Ah, oh, I forgot these. All right, so here's something special. I did a pottery class not too long ago in my area. And here's a couple of things that I used as fillers because they were the right size in this firing. So that's two of the pieces that people made from my pottery class. 
which we have another one coming up in December, and we're actually going to be making crosses like this. So if you're local and you want to do one of my classes, then make sure you go to my website. I'll have that tagged in the description down below. And sign up. Classes available. As they come up available will uh, be under the classes tab. So just look for that. Just make sure you um, get the right date that you want. All of these are being held in McGee, Mississippi right now um, at the Senior Center. It's not just for seniors, but it's at the Senior Center. It's like a little community house for us here. And it is mainly the Senior Center, but um, I have been given the opportunity to utilize that space for my classes. And of course, you know, Seniors actually get a discount, so that's the other part to it. All right, so here is my tester for that white glaze that I have used on multiple things, and this. It's the same thing as this. I wanted, when I mixed it, I, don't, I didn't write it on there. This is one of those things where you just know you're going to remember, but you don't. So I just knew that I was going to remember what it was, and I did not remember. I haven't written it on there, so I have no idea what this glaze is. So I don't know how I mixed it. I don't know what it's made from, um, but I wanted to, to retest it on one of my test tiles. I make these test tiles just because they've got some height to them a little bit, and so I can see a little bit how they might um, work on a uh, vertical, is that right? horizontal vertical a vertical surface as well as a horizontal surface anyway um and so i'm going to try to figure out which one this is i don't know or what i did to it i don't know i don't know these are a couple of more fillers that i used from my class we did and they all did such a good job man that was it was so much fun everybody had a blast and it was just so much fun all right, we're getting close to the bottom. We got two more crosses, and that's the ash glaze. Here's I got one more cross. Oh, this one's beautiful, and I love this glaze. This particular glaze is going to be it's going to be one that I'm going to keep in my bag of tricks because I absolutely adore it. All right, on to the funky bases. This is the last of the last. So this one I created with uh, all of them, actually, all of these three. I started out with a wheel thrown base and then um, I utilized coils until I built it up to where I wanted it to be. We've got a little debris on the bottom, which happens sometimes, so I will be sanding these bottoms so that they're smooth and clean. So I did oxide wash to bring out the carving on the outside. I do have a glazed edge. And again, all of this is the ash glaze. And this, this has a mason stain in it, so it has a little color to it. But I think that is just going to be so cool to put flowers in. You could actually put a plant in there if you wanted to. Um, that would be really beautiful with a plant, especially something trailing coming out in the front of it. And this is another one, again, bottom thrown on the wheel, and then built up from there. So I like these really organic shapes. They certainly appeal to me in everything that I do. That one turned out well, too. Obviously, oxide wash on the outside. We have the glaze and the inner glaze. Let me see how that works. I'm going to have to put some test flowers or something in there just to see how this works. This is the one that I was really anxious about because I used sort of like an ombre look is what, what I was going for with this. And 
I started and then I got confused and I was trying to figure out whether or not I was remembering which glazes went with which and what color they were and whether or not I had them right. So I didn't know if I was going to come out with something that was completely had completely different colors or <laughs> what was going to happen. So um, I was very, very anxious about this one. But guess what? It turned out beautiful. It's so beautiful. I absolutely adore this. So the colors matched well together. Thank God. And I just absolutely adore the wings or whatever you want to call those on the outside that I did. So what I did with this one again was it was a wheel thrown bottom and then I used coils to build it up until I had it where I wanted it. And then I came back with coils and I made these little ribbons on the side everywhere and formed those how I wanted them. And then after I let that set up just a little bit, I came back in and I don't know if you can kind of tell it on here, but I came back in and I pushed out around these. So you have, you have the shape, organic shape, and then you have the relief of the coils and that 3D interest. And then you have the, um, it's not texture, but uh, the difference in uh, form for the bulb on the outside. So all of that is, is pushed out around here. I love this thing. This one is going to be very hard for me to let go of. Very hard. All right, and it's glazed on the inside. Okay. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, I have nowhere else to put this one, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. I hope you enjoyed watching the kill opening. I hope you enjoyed listening about my ash blaze. Um, if you have, then give me a like and a follow. I would love, love you to do that because I would love to see you in the future. Love your support as well. Um, starting in the new year, maybe in December, I'm going to be back at starting some more videos. I've uh, got more set up in that, that way, and um, just want to move that forward. That's, that was the intention for uh, my channel in the first place. Um, so I will have a lot of interesting things coming in January for sure. I'll be working on some, some new designs. These vases were part of what I had started with uh, my creativity part of what I wanted to do. I kind of got away from that because, you know, I got into more just production, which I don't really care for. Uh, that's why I got in pottery in the first place was so that I could um, explore my creativity. That's what I wanted to do. And so that's what I've done. Um, and that's what I'm going to get back to in the new year. So it's going to be more about um, exploring things that I have created as far as uh, things in my books that I have drawn and designs that I have created in my books and trying to bring more of those to life. Um, that's where I want to go. That's, that's what I love to do. And I think that I, that's what I need to focus on in the new year is what I, only what I love to do. Uh, I think that's what everybody should really do in life is, you know, follow what you really love to do. If you, if you follow that, you'll be okay. So, um, so yeah, I hope y'all keep up with me and look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Thanks for watching. See y'all.